In this video, we will go over how to determine if a parabola is facing upwards or downwards. As first part of your activity, you were given the decimals in standard form and you are supposed to move around the slide bar for A, B, and C to observe the characteristics of the function. A good skill to have is whenever you're observing a characteristics, you want to ask yourself, what do I know, what do I see, and what do I wonder? So notice that when A equals 1, B equals 0, C equals 0, Plug in 1, the equation is x squared. x squared is our parent function. But notice as I slide b, and our b becomes negative, we move to the right. But as we make the b positive, it moves to the left. And we're going to return it back to 0. Notice that if I move c, though, if c is negative, we're going down. But if I go in the positive direction, c is going up. So notice that c affects the direction that goes up and down, whereas b changes it left to right. Now if you go back to the original function, notice that when a becomes positive, the shape is still going upward like a smile. However, when the a becomes a negative, you would have noticed that it's going downwards. So the a value affects the direction of the parabola, and if a is positive, it will go in the upward direction, as you can see. And if a is negative, as you can see on the left side, since it's negative 1.4, the parabola is facing downwards. And this is a key characteristic of parabolas. So another part of your activity was that you were gonna you were supposed to play around with the values for a vertex form and a times x minus h squared plus k is a vertex form. Notice that when I move the h value, we're changing it from left to right, and I'm gonna change it back to zero to his original function. We start at zero, 0 for h. And notice with k, as I move left and right, if it's negative, it's going downwards, whereas if I move it in the positive direction, it's going upwards. And I'm going to move it back to 0. So this is our parent function, 0, 0. And notice, when I change the a value, and both standard form and vertex form has the a value, Notice that when my a becomes negative, it does go down again. And if I move in the positive direction, it goes upwards. So the a value stands for both vertex form and standard form. If it's negative, it will go in the downward direction. And that's what you want to do for your activity. Whereas when a goes to the positive direction, the direction of the parabola is going upwards.